Vice Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party, Dr. Yusuf Dati Ahmed, has raised alarm over what he described as violating of peace accord signed by political parties ahead of the 2023 general elections. Dati, who made this known at a press conference in Abuja, accused the candidates of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, and his PDP counterpart, Atiku Abubakar, of spreading falsehood against OB of the Labour Party. In the squabble, for the second and third positions, some erstwhile major political parties appear to have crossed the boundaries of decency to transgress our peaceful activities and our focus on political schedules. On the 29th of September 2022, an eminent group of statesmen under the aegis of the National Peace Conference brought together all presidential candidates to sign a peace accord, which represents an agreed code of conduct for the 2023 presidential elections. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is unfortunate that despite the noble objectives of this initiative, disinformation and misinformation about the Labour Party and its candidate have become fashionable in this election season. Just a few days ago, the presidential candidate of the APC speaking in Delta State and referring to our presidential candidate said it was a disgrace to mention his name. While our candidate is quite comfortable with not being mentioned, it is most unpresidential, indecorous, and disrespectful from the candidate who claims his turn at Nigerian presidency. APC's strategy against Peter Abi now appears very clear, clearly centered on promoting falsehood in addition to empty and derogatory personal attacks. And of course, this is because they can find no contentious point of negativity to push. He also expressed sadness over the increased part of attack on its party supporters, in which some cases had led to the death of the party members. Over the past few months, we have witnessed various attacks on Labour Party offices, meetings, and our members in parts of the country and even INEC offices have not been spared. Just a couple of days ago, Mrs. Victoria Chintex, our vibrant and able woman leader in our local government of Kaduna State was assassinated while members of her family escaped with injuries. Senseless killings have gone on for too long. We call on government within the time left to at least make attempts at fulfilling its 2015 promises of securing lives and property. In Abuja, LM Chukwamaka reports.